What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Gaming Authority. I'm JP Storm. We got another gameplay plus we're going to give you guys out another fast fire blitz from the Nickel 335. But look at my opponent. He's ranked 887th. Lego D. I don't know what that is, but so yeah, we got another good opponent. We're both the Cowboys. I get the ball first, my running scheme and look what happens. One play, gone, touchdown. I love this running scheme that I put together. It's incredible. <laughs> so now I'm thinking he's quitting here. And I guess he's just making some personnel changes. I guess he didn't like the fact that I <laughs> one play touchdown. First play of the game. <laughs> I just, this running scheme makes me laugh. It's, it's amazing. So now we're in a 4-4 split. He's in like 5 wide, but he throws his running back, and we can't be in 4-4 split if he's going to go with that wide spread out formation. But he goes back to it here, and we're stupidly still in it, and he connects, and all right, we're going to gonna have to get out of this. And of course, no huddle. What's with everybody no huddling all the time? I mean, I guess I would no huddle against me if I was in this if I was facing this defense with five wide too, or four wide, whatever he's in. I, I eventually come out of this. So he goes back to pass again. These passes to the halfback, pain in the ass. I, I will adjust. So I put a purple zone to the left. Now I bring down, now I bring down the safety to the halfback and he hesitated, that was a great blitz. So he wide open up the middle. I, I, I I gotta settle in here because this he's moving the ball up and down the field on me. I gotta make some adjustments quick. So he does a little counter that gets him to the five yard line, actually three yard line. So of course no huddling. It's second and one, and he runs it again, but we shut him down here. So now of course he no huddles it. And I noticed he likes to go in this single back ace, quick slants play, like he's doing here. Oh, and we jarred the ball loose at the last second. So it's fourth and three, and he goes back to that same play. Look at this, same play, quick slants. And somebody finally gets open. Uh, I mean, I didn't really send the blitz there, so. So here we go, triple option, option, and we forgot to put Elliot in that position. So that was our second Sering halfback, and because if that was Elliot, he would have been gone. Just like he is here. <laughs> this, yeah, it's amazing. Triple option, pistol weak formation. You can't beat it. So now I'm sending some heat, and look, he catches that. Des Bryant don't make those catches for me. So we're in a dollar defense, and we're in the play spinner, but we're making adjustments. We're putting some zones on the field obviously not the right zones because now he's wide open score touchdown I got it I'll adjust to that though I have to look at this show bone with big does all right okay all right we got to get him back for that we can't have him show on our field here it's not gonna happen so halfback screen to Alfred Morris and he gets a good game Score is tied up. We go back to the triple option. <laughs> Play is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, man. So he does this now. Look at this. I haven't faced a lot of players that did this QB sneak play. So now I'm trying to send the blitz to that side, and he's throwing. Oh, whoa, whoa. look at that. That was a nice, nice play by Terrence Williams. So now I'm up 21-14. He's driving again. I, I, it's hard to stop. This opponent was hard to stop. He was. Look, look at this. He de doesn't fumble. He doesn't fumble. If I tried that, I'd definitely fumble with Dak. 
So he's no huddling. I, 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 I'm trying to set up. I put two QB spies on the field so he don't run, plus a hard flat on the right. And he goes back to pass this time. And he finally waits for that guy to get open. He had good patience in the pocket. And of course, no huddling. So there's three minutes left to go in the half. He's making his adjustments. And he's rolling out to the right, trying to run for it. That's a hard hit. Why didn't he fumble? Fumble that. Look at this. That ain't going to work. No way. Not against that 4-4 split with QB contains on the field. That play, that stupid play action pass will never work. So again, I think I put a QB spine the field so he don't run. And he, he connects. The, that was his second string tight end that caught that in traffic. So there's two minutes left to go. This, it's coming down to two minutes. And I went to a one play touchdown, but nobody was open at all. Now that was a two minute warning and he sends the heat, but I catch it with the halfback. Now it's fourth and eight. Fourth and eight. Look at that catch by Cole Beasley. Diving catch, great, good first down. So now it's third and 11. A little over a minute left to go in the half. Go back to pass. And I try to play maker R1 up the field. And I do. Look at that. That was great. Should have stayed in bounds there. That could have been a touchdown. Playmaker. You got to playmaker. You're, if no one's open, playmaker somebody. Somebody will get open. So here we go. Triple option. What do you think happens? Touchdown. <laughs> touchdown. That play is just nothing but it's like a cheat it's a cheat code that triple option is like a cheat play it's so glitchy i guess it's hard to stop if you don't know what you're doing so he goes back to pass he's got somebody wide open but he overthrows it he's going back oh we sack him that time so he's going there's 25 seconds left to go in a half it's third and 18, he goes back to pass, and he connects. And I missed the tackle, so he gets an extra five yards. He got the first down, there's 17 seconds left to go. He, no huddles, just to spike it. He saves his only timeout, which was a good call, good move by him. That was a smart play. So he goes back to pass, seven seconds left to go, and he connects again, little corner route by the tight end. So now he calls his last timeout. Now he could at least kick this field goal. Which was, that was a smart drive by him. Definitely a smart drive. He, he managed that pretty good. Especially because my defense was nowhere to be found. And he gets the ball at half. So getting those three points was key. And he, that, that was his first good running play. That was his only good running play. Because there he got hammered. So he's going back to pass, and we're trying to adjust to what he likes to do, and he got smacked on that, and he held on to it. I'm telling you, when I my receivers don't, look at this, my receivers don't catch like that. I use the Cowboys every single time I play, and they don't catch like that. So he runs the ball with uh, Cole Beasley, a little receiver action that don't work. No huddling, of course. This guy was annoying to play. He was good. He definitely was good. It was hard to, to score on him. Look at that. You, that stupid play action pass. He tried it once. It failed. You're going to keep trying? It's not going to work. So look at this. I should have picked that off. I, I was right there. That should have been a pick. No three points. That should have been a pick. So whatever, I'm still up. I'm up by one now. And just go back to the running scheme. I mean, I gained 11 yards there. It's, it's the fourth quarter, and look at this. Triple option again. Wow, he, that, I only got 10 yards that time on it. So we go back to it. <laughs> this play. It's, I'm telling you, it is amazing. Pistol week, triple option. Go check that out. Put that in your running scheme because you see what's, what, what I'm doing to people with it. Go back to Alfred Morris this time. Give Ezekiel a rest. And Alfred Morris scores a touchdown, baby. So now we're up by eight. He's got a score plus a two-point conversion. And look at this. 
Dez is just catching everything for him, which is so unfair. He don't play like that for me. So he goes back to the halfback toss here. Nice little gain. Got about nine yards. It's all right. But we're coming up on three minutes left to go in the fourth. It's second and one. He's going to have to score fast here. So he goes back to pass. He's, look at his, pro, his pocket presence is good. But, but we cover it good. He has to throw it away. So now we think maybe we're kind of adjusting to what he likes to do. But he got the first down on that little dump off to the halfback. So it is coming up on three minutes left to go. He's in the, the same formation. He throws, look at that. I, I, I don't know why I didn't pick that off either, but that was a nice play by him. First and goal. No huddling. We're trying to adjust what he likes to do. And he look, he goes back to that play. And not, doesn't work. Oh, <laughs> he scored on me on that with that play action. So now he's going for two. Now we stop him. Okay, I got mixed up between this play and uh, his touchdown run. So we're still up. So now we're up by two, and now we just got to chew a clock because there's a minute 54 seconds left to go. He's got all three timeouts. So look, a minute 48, minute 47. We just got to eat this clock. Don't give him a chance to get the ball. And, it, and we're golden, but he's got three timeouts. I do have a great running scheme. And I'm just going to put on chew clock mode and see if he can stop me. So we're just running the ball. That was just a little fullback dive I put Alfred Morris in as fullback. Triple option again. Look, he, <laughs> he tried to stop me, but I just ran right past him. And that was a first down. 30 seconds left to go. Zeke finishes up that run. Now he's, he's got one timeout left. It's second, second down. He just used up his last timeout. I could still kneel, kneel on the ball if I wanted to, but he quits. Stay tuned for the free play. Okay, what we're going over is from the nickel 335, and this works against a bunch of other offensive formations. It's a nickel 335, the SS Mike Cross, but flip the play by pressing R2 before you pick the play, and it's the SS Mike Cross. But if the running back is to the left, just come out in this, the play unflipped. And I'll first show it to you against the shotgun with a running back block into the right. And I'll show it to you against under center play. So super easy setup, just baseline, slant the D line to the left left on the d-pad left on the right stick and put and it's a four-man blitz put this right screen d end in a hook curl left and this linebacker in a vert hook and user control this linebacker and then qb contain l2 r1 it's a four-man blitz you're overloading one side and that safety came screaming and untouched so baseline, slant the D-line to the left, put him in a hook curl left, and him in a vert hook, QB contain. Look at that, it came in too fast that the game mechanic stopped it. So baseline, slant the D-line to the left, put him in a hook curl left, him in a vert hook, QB contain. Four man blitz. And you got great coverage behind this because you're only sending in four people. If you want to use your quick adjustments, L2 twice, X for that right screen at the end, and then left on the left stick, QB contain. Look at that. Now let's show it to you against under center formation that when the free safety comes down it, it looks intimidating to run against also single back punch spacing just because the running back is being blocked baseline slant the d-line to the left put 
the right of screen at the end, hook curl left, him on a vert hook. QB contain. Here they picked it up, but it's, it was still working against under center plays. I think. Look at that. Look at that. Baseline, slant the D-line to the left, take that right of screen the end, put him in a hook curl left, put him in a vertical, and QB contained. I mean, it still kind of came in there. Look how fast you could set it up, too. And that safety still comes around. This is a great blitz, and who... Look at this. Who is going to run on this? Like, it just looks intimidating to run on. But if they run to the right, you, ha you have these two guys in zones. So that's the weakness of this, if they run, to ball, run the ball to the right. But just use the saw. Look at that. This is against. This is a four-man blitz against a blocked running back. One last time, baseline. Slant the D-line to the left. Put him in a uh, hook curl left. Put this linebacker in a vert hook. And then QB contained. Four-man blitz. Hey, that time they picked it up nice. But the coverage behind this is phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that. So that's a good spot to end it right there. Do me do us a favor, like this video. I know you're gonna like this play. So go ahead and like this video, subscribe to us. Hit that little notification button because we're gonna go strong until next Madden. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. I'm JP Storm with GamingAuthority.com.